In this opportunity, we will explain what, hap what happened on the uh, Slanturn uh, 60 or 80 when you don't read a, um, or, you, or you don't have any chain on the turret position uh, a code that is given by the encoder that is on this. Um, on this uh, example, this is the encoder, as you see, and the transmission, the tool position, trans uh, position is transmitted through the shaft that goes through these components and there is a coupling that gives uh, the connection or provide connection to the encoder. So if you have any problem with two uh, error or two position error or two sensor error, it doesn't mean that the, the, the encoder is the, the problem. You might have uh, an issue with the position uh, transmission from the coupling that is here through the shaft and locking element that is on the tool list. So in this case, we will show if we have the locking element or locking ring, uh, the brand is a ring feather. If we have that, uh, Loosen, this is um, the component A92 on the list. And you have the characteristics here. And this is our ring feather part number on the dimensions. And it's in the manual is called, called the lock ring. So, If you happen to have, a, for any reason, the locking element loosen, you have to go to a diagnosis, a version, and diagnosis monitor, and check the word X70 in the I.O. address, I.O. monitor display. And you have to check from the bit number B to bit number three. Only those bits. Do not pay attention to the exa code that you have on the, on the right. Only pay attention to these bits. So you will see that the this is the code for uh, position number one, which is zero zero one one zero one zero one zero, and that's the the only code that matters in this case. Once you you check that that is correctly on the, the tool is correctly positioned on the tool number one. You have to go to a, to jog or um, wrap it and set up a, put the setup key and go and unclamp the turret and go back to the tool position or code on the display and move the turret. If you move the turret and the code doesn't change, it means that either we have the coupling this coupling uh, broken or loosened or any of this part or the most probably uh, 
root cause could be that the locking element that locks the shaft against the turret actually not a, a radial is loosened <clears throat> so what you have to do is to follow the procedure uh, described on the on the alarm 22 turret clamp sensor mic function it a guide and in that guide you have that troubleshooting guide you have uh, how to align the turret or tool disk basically you have to uh, with the turret unclamped you have to uh, loosen the um, to lose the the lock system, to lose the nut 87, clamp and clamp uh, several times until you align the the turret with the carbon coupling that is in behind, and uh, you have explanation what is a, a carbon coupling here on the troubleshooting as well. So once you have that aligned, you should see only. Uh, actual displacement of the turret but not angular displacement if you have angular displacement it means that it's not well aligned so you have to repeat the process until you only have actual displacement uh, you can see some bouncing uh, on the top if uh, the turret balance is not well or the tooling is not no are not well balanced on the on the turret so once you check that with the turret unclamped you have first to adjust the nut 87 if you go to the 87 item you will see that there is a nut and to lose and adjust that nut you have to use a an actual lock nut socket like this one and a torque range in this case uh, the socket for this machine is could be i guess is tmfs15 or 12 but most sure it could be 15. this is a skf brand so follow the procedure describe it on uh, on the troubleshooting guide uh, you have to adjust the nut uh, here okay here is plain and you have to tighten that nut two or three times the this value uh, 120 newton meters is the nominal value to be tightened uh, to tighten that, that nut um the first time you had to adjust it two or three times in order to um, make sure that there is a, if there is any uh, thread imperfection it won't hinder the proper clamping force uh, so once you do that two or three times uh, adjust it uh, to this value you have to loosen again the and tighten uh, the the nut to the nominal value okay once you what's what's the purpose of the of this uh, procedure this part is to eliminate the the play or the uh, backlash that you might have in between the shaft the turret and in between the locking element 
and the turret. Once you eliminate the, the backlash and uh, or if you leave some backlash here, uh, by the time with the unclam and clam uh, uh, movement, you will get the locking element loosened again. So the idea is to the of this uh, of this nut is to avoid that. Once you tighten the and eliminate the eliminate the backlash or the play in between all the these three elements, um, you have to adjust the locking element, the final adjustment. As you see here, to this value using always a torque range as well. Okay. And this will give you a clamping force of uh, 40, 45,000 uh, approximately newtons. Uh, and then you can check the, the tool changes uh, once you finish that process or the adjustment. So as you see here, we will show you that is completely loose and the locking element. And then we went that, uh, back to the position number one, that is uh, this mark that you have see here. And uh, I clamped the turret in order to proceed with the adjustment. Okay, I hope uh, this uh, helped you to understand a little bit more about the the turret issues that you might face, like a uh, uh, disalarm, or uh, as well the uh, alarm uh, 220, or the yeah, the 220 is the alarm that it says. Uh, uh, let me show you. We are working on this uh, trolley children as well. Okay, we have the 380 uh, and the, uh, we have to create the alarm to 20. But there is a video showing that, that alarm. On uh, streams under the group uh, is Lantern, makes this Lantern 60. And And this is uh, the video that is, will explain the 222 red position sensor manufacture. Which uh, it doesn't mean that, uh, again, that is the encoder. Okay, thank you.